Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to show you one of the nicest tribute cars we've had in a long time, because they only made four of them in the real world, so this one's a lot more reasonably priced. Tell you a bit in a little bit. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, where we have close to 100 collector cars, trucks, resto mods, street rods, classics for sale at any given time. So today we're gonna to tell you about one of our latest acquisitions here. It is a 1966 replica of a 66 Shelby, convertible of all things. In the real world, they made four of them. So if they made four of them, if you wanted a real one, uh, you would have to have extremely deep pockets. So if you would still like to have the pleasure of driving a car that has an in incredibly good look to it, and it was a very specialty car in 1966, as it is today as well, we have one right here on our sales floor. So we have a 1966 convertible that has been retrofitted with all the correct details to make it look identical to a GT350. Uh, we've got the 10 spoke Shelby wheels with the radial tires, of course, the GT stripe package that went down the length of the car. You have the side scoops for air intake for supposedly for the rear brake system. Uh, you have the uh, bump hood with the small hood scoop with the hood pins. Uh, the, uh, the, the back end also has the white stripes that go down the trunk and the Shelby gas tank uh, cover as well. Dual exhaust, of course, but this, this car is a really nice example. Someone put something together just the way they wish they could afford to buy a real one, but uh, in reality, they found a nice one right here. It is uh, the candy apple red color with the stripes, 289. Some performance upgrades, as you will see when you look at the engine cold startup and whatnot, nicely detailed under the hood. Of course, another interesting feature about this particular car, it is actually a front bench seat car. And that is actually discerned in the, on the uh, ID tag on the inside on the door. So this car was originally ordered with a bench seat. There weren't a whole lot of those that came that way, uh, but this one happens to have it. The other nice features, of course, uh, with a 66 like this, it has the rally pack gauges, which was another option that a lot of the performance guys wanted, where you have the tachometer and the clock right there on the steering column. This one also has a wooden steering wheel. Another nice thing about this car, even though it is a convertible, it has factory air conditioning. Air conditioning is always a rarity pretty much on the, on the convertibles, especially in this time, because it was an expensive option. It's all under dash hung on, but that's the way they made them in 1966. A beautiful power top, white top with a white boot. Uh, like I said, it's got the Shelby wheels, all the chrome, all the stuff that makes it look just like a real one. Uh, aftermarket stereo, so you can listen to all your tunes anytime and any place you go. So if you're looking for a very interesting collectible car, a nice tribute, uh, visit our website. I mean, that will give you all the details on this car at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well, which is always another place to make us a favorite. There's lots of interesting stories and cars that we have had in the past and whatnot. Um, you can also do the, the thing that I like the best is you can come and visit us in person. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5. Love to have you come on in, look at it in person, because I'll tell you what, if you uh, wanted a real one in 1966, there was only four of them to go around then. Uh, that means there's probably even less of them today. But if you want one that looks just like the real McCoy, we've got it right here at Ellingson's.